Contrary to the title of this video, I will be attempting to build a base in one of the most dangerous areas of Subnautica, the Lava Zone. The goal today is to construct a Sea Dragon Leviathan Observatory using only a fabricator on my Cyclops and resources that I've gathered from the Lava Zone itself. And after that, we kill the Leviathan. Be warned that there will be spoilers in this video, and with that said, let's get right into it. Using resources that I find in the lava zone and everything that is currently in my inventory, I have to complete this challenge. Now you may notice that I will not be bringing a habitat builder, sea glide, or stasis rifle. Those are some things that I will be having to craft myself. So the way that I'll be getting to the lava zone is through the portal in the mushroom forest. And to the lava zone we go. This is not a good idea. Here we are on the other side. And this right here is where we'll be building our base. And we can already see that there is a sea dragon right here waiting to greet us. Oh my goodness, this challenge is not going to go well. You don't see me. <laughs> I'm not afraid at all. Oh, he's actually kind of stupid. I pissed him off. I pissed him off. But there she is, my beautiful, beautiful Cyclops. There's literally nothing here except for the fact that I have this fabricator, and that's the only thing I'll be using to help me get ahead in this challenge. And here we are, our first bit of titanium. Nope, Lava Lizard, don't you think about it. He was thinking about it. Yeah, this actually isn't my first attempt at this challenge. I'll roll the clip of the first attempt, and you'll see what went wrong. No, 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 please leave me alone. Oh my god. What? I just got thrown through a wall. I'm literally stuck. All right, I thought there'd be cool stuff in here, but there is no stuff in here, actually. We have ourselves a habitat builder we've just upgraded let's get our very first multi-purpose room in here what a nice place for a home and of course what is a home without a door so the next thing we have to do is get a nuclear reactor in here using just materials gathered from the lava zone i was able to make a nuclear reactor and a reactor rod let there be light after this the worst possible thing happened i got into a heated 1v1 with this lava lizard you want a piece of me buddy but what i didn't know is that they're immune to the thermal blade i tragically died and respawned at my lava base i won't lie to you guys i took an hour and the only way that I could get back to my prawn suit would be to swim. And I've respawned all the way here, 600 meters from my prawn suit. And I don't even have a sea glide. I don't have enough oxygen to swim all the way to my prawn suit. Oh no, come on, come on. I don't need this right now. I don't need this right now. I'm literally helping. No, no, no. He just pushed me through the map. I, I got pretty close for being under the map. <laughs> this challenge is over if I can't make it back to my prawn suit. I see it. Oh my god, I'm so close. Tell me I make this. Tell me I make this. Tell me I make this. Yes! Oh my god! That was easy, guys. In a previous video, I claimed the world record for the tallest alien containment tower ever built in Subnautica. Over 300 meters tall, this giant aquarium is able to hold over 1,000 peepers. So I'm gonna throw two in now, and at the end of the video, we'll check back on them and see how much they've multiplied. I mean, a 1,000 peepers in here can't be good for my game, right? So we'll come back at the end of the video and see how much they've reproduced. You want a piece of me, Sea Dragon Leviathan? Huh? I say we look the other way. Look at that guy hiding in the hole there. What? Is that a thing they actually do? Oh no, okay, we gotta eat. We gotta eat before anything. Mmm, yummy. Instantly cooked mag meringue. So I'm gonna make a pro gamer move and I'm going to deconstruct this fabricator now and relocate it to my base. And now the fabricator has a oh. new home. I can get my water filtration machine in. I don't have to die of dehydration anymore. Okay, well, our base is flooding and I'm about to die. And there's a sea dragon leviathan outside trying to kill me. 
He really is trying to get me, but he just can't. When I'm behind this wall, I'm just completely invincible. That's how Subnautica physics works. And now this is what I use the stalker tooth for. And now at the top of this suspicious tube right here, I can get a glass L compartment. Uh, relax, please, relax, please. And now I can craft our observatory right here. This is absolutely perfect and terrifying at the same time. And now I should be able to get a ladder in here and I can make it safely to my observatory. Now I can study the sea dragon leviathan before I have to kill him. But to take down the sea dragon leviathan, I'm going to probably need a stasis rifle. The stasis rifle claimed from only resources that I've collected from the lava zone. We've really come from nothing to something. If the sea dragon leviathan doesn't kill me, then hopefully I can get a quick base tour in here. Welcome to my lava zone base or the sea dragon leviathan observatory. Yes, it's for you. Okay, okay, no, no, it's not for you. It's not for you. I was joking. We've got the vehicle upgrade console and just down this hall, we have our food source that have all died. Oh my god, it's like it's literally like a graveyard in here. This is kind of terrifying. Next, we have a storage area. We've got our water source. We have our battery charger, medical kit fabricator, and of course, my YouTube channel. Down this hall and to the right, I've got my gorgeous bedroom. Outside, I have a little garden. Welcome to the observatory. But now that we've had our time to observe the sea dragon leviathan, I say it's time we take it down and make this area area at least somewhat more safer than it already is. Probably not because, you know, there's lava everywhere. Right from the beginning of this challenge, I experienced nothing but problems, and then my peeper experiment completely backfired. My game is so unbelievably laggy, and I think I know why. This is just unbearable. I would say this is the problem. Oh, jeez. Look how many there are. I This is gonna take so long. I made a huge mistake. Moral of the story, don't put fish in your 100 alien containment tall tower. There's still a lot of peepers, but it's looking better. You are getting very sleepy. <laughs> I have officially gotten rid of all the peepers. Now I'm gonna go back into survival and go back down into the lava zone and let's just pick up right back where we left off. So the challenge is done. I completed it. I successfully built a base in the lava zone using mostly only resources from the lava zone. But now the challenge is to kill the sea dragon leviathan. And I've done some preparation for this. I went back to the surface and picked up a ton of gasopod gas pods. So the trick is we're gonna hit the sea dragon leviathan with the stasis rifle and then drop all these gas pods on him and hope. I say we do this. All or nothing. He's running away. He's scared. One way or the other, he's going down. Come on. Yes. Okay. Now we just need to get in close and then drop all the gas pods. Best of luck. I have no clue what's gonna- Oh my god. I just instantly killed myself. But what if I killed him too? I'm not hearing any roars. Oh! <gasps> We got him! Oh my god, the gas pods are OP! All right, now I can scan him. I literally traded with the sea dragon leviathan. Oh my god, I'm in the mouth of the sea dragon <gasps> leviathan. Oh shit! Oh my, oh my god, okay, that scared me. Okay. I'm done. Hi everyone, I'm CPT Kung Fu. I make videos on video games. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by liking and or subscribing. I hope to see you all in the next one. Later.